Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Vincent Green. I'm your host, Noel John Tui. We got Karen Mack in the back, and this is Talking Points. Let's get to it, motherfuckers. Bays All right, in the house. Uh, we're back for another episode of Talking Points, and as you alluded to just there now, that we're not alone. We've got Beige Bedford from the ROC coming in here to talk to us about post-apocalyptic movies and how today's generation seem more prepared for the pandemic world that they now live in. Nailed it. Mm, you did, actually. So, so Beige, good to see you, motherfucker. Always good to see you. You're a big friend of MDK. What's up, Haggis brothers? How you doing? <laughs> Fucking bastard, Nick. Um, <laughs> I thought you were a swallower. I didn't think you were a spitter, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nearly, uh, man, I, I choked it down like a lady. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he knows his meal's been paid for. He choked oh. it down. <laughs> yeah. oh. Mommy, what sex is something you have to do to a man after he buys you a nice dinner? <laughs> dinner and all. Um, it's crazy because I was, we actually talked about this like a couple of days ago, just us all like chilling, the ROC guys. And it's like the newer generation is more prepared for like if a zombie apocalypse were to happen or something like the plague were to happen. But the other point of that is like they're a big bunch of pussies too. Yeah, it's you know what? Prepared, but in her mind. I wasn't thinking that the conversation was going to turn turn into this, but I, I kind of I'm I, I'm kind of digging it. You're absolutely right. As in, like, really, really, really hardened in one way and soft as fucking butter in another one. And yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Like they, they'd hunker down it's during a zombie perfect. apocalypse as long as no one says anything hurtful. Yeah. Sensitized to violence that they never really truly experienced in person. Yeah, they would yeah. Be, for me, it would be like they would be like, All right, well, we need to set up a perimeter and be inside here and food. And then somebody would hit on someone's girlfriend, or someone would get ass hurt about someone making fun of someone's like whatever. And then, yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> I'm gonna leave and then uh, you know, leave the door open or unlocked on purpose. <laughs> just back at them and like, you know, that's just how it seems right now because I'll like. It's funny because, you know, back in the day when we used to play like Halo or whatever and talk shit to people on. on oh, on, yeah. Yeah. Now, did you know that there's a um, there's a bot thing or like here's an example. Fortnite. If you say anything too hurtful or harmful to anyone on Fortnite, they will boot you off and delete your account. Whoa. That's making weak. Give me, give me, give me. Um, obviously, if somebody came on and started like spewing the n word and started like saying really, oh, really, really, really word. Word. What? yeah, <laughs> but see, that, I, no, <laughs> that I guess. My, my, my point is that that I would guess. I want to know how low know. the metric actually goes. Oh, do I, I want to know. I, 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 I want to know where it would start. <laughs> or. So if I But yeah, so if I was playing Halo, uh sorry, Fortnite and I got <laughs> <worked up. laughs> <I'm a blind. laughs> Go ahead. And I, I got really worked up and I just said the word Return of the Sensors. Retired <laughs> No, dude, they they would they would send you an advisory thing the next time that you got on the play. And they would be like, you know, one because I had a guy that I work with that we play Fortnite at, or Fortnite at night with. And like he had done that one time, they sent him an advisory, and then he had said something else and then locked him out of his account. So it's like, yeah. dude, cause it, it was that thing where um, Call of Duty, like kids, like this is how you prepare. And the army and the military have actually started using Call of Duty as a way to train soldiers. To desensitize them to violence. Yeah. Ah, uh, see, like, the desensitize to violence thing I get. Like, the, I wouldn't like them to get the idea of respawning into their heads. <laughs> 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 I got shot. Oh, <laughs> she ends up and he just goes running in like <laughs> so It's okay, Jimmy's gonna respond in twenty seconds. <laughs> no, but I think it's I think it is crazy like you know, seeing like Walking Dead and like uh even with the pandemic now, I think younger people think they're invincible with certain shit. But mm. then when they do get sick, they straight bitch out. Like, I can't handle this. I can't do this. No, 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 no. Is but, it like hardened to life and sensitive to thought? Is, yeah. Is, am I, does, is that, yeah, yeah. kind of like that. Because, you know. I think 
I think a lot of young kids though as well nowadays they've uh, they've lived at home for a long time so they didn't get to live in those houses with no central heating. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah you know what I mean? They're not hardened to the world. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, anyone that's sat in a cold house in the middle of winter <laughs> when you're oh, wearing yeah. like six layers <laughs> yeah, yeah. and you're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, where's my hands? They're staying in my pockets. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, I was paying like exactly 50% of every penny I ever earned to live in a house that had, you know, I had no internet, I had no nothing. And in fact, my, uh, my, my bathroom sink was in the bedroom with me and shit like that. And yeah, fuck it. Maybe I was better off for it, man. Like, you know? The bathroom sink was in your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. It was in, you, you go, you, you, you go to the shitter and then you have to walk into your, your, oh, your little never, bedroom area and that's where your sink is. You've one sink, like. I never want that. I mean, this is crazy. I don't, I don't want to do Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's called, <laughs> it's called, it's called living in a city, man. I don't live in a city anymore. <laughs> I you ever see those micro apartments in Japan? But that's, oh. that's a complete, it's a complete site. So, but like, you know, like looking at the world we're living in right now, like and the the people that say that are become more desensitized to all these different fucking the pandemics, the apocalyptic, uh, like uh, chances that like you know the end of the world's on the horizon, the future looks bleak, and all this. And through our media, like we feel like we're prepared for this, but like the the things that like are apocalyptic in nature through our media is like alien invasion or zombie fucking uprising or whatever. Like I just think that like. Well, I think something you touched upon now before we started recording is that like we're prepared for a fast ending apocalypse but we're not prepared for a gradual apocalypse that's no. just going to like oh, grind no. us down to nothing you know what mm-hmm. I mean though like you think you are but you're not the food chain ends well I think like, the rest of the world is can can do it I think the United yeah, nomads States and stuff wouldn't be able to do it because mm-hmm. just look at what like it's like with like face masks and having to stay inside during the pandemic like Lockdown. italy people were staying inside singing to each other like you know having fun. seen that people yeah, on their balconies yeah. that was beautiful yeah people in mm. greece were doing it people in london they have nobody though. were doing it you know everywhere else people were doing it people in the united states were losing their shit dude like mm. like people were like sucks but like killing their families or going because they couldn't take it and thought they thought they were gonna get sick and i'm just like you inside for a year. You know what I would do if I got to stay inside for a year and not have to go anywhere? I would have so much fun. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I did so much writing during the lockdown. Right. Like, it was just, so much writing. Like, it was crazy. Did, like, to be fair, he did a crazy amount of writing. Credit no where point. Like, like, you, you get into your muse. You find it. You, you, just, you just lock into it. But kids nowadays can't do that, I think, because there's so much other, like, aesthetic stuff around them to where, like, yeah, you know, like, walking dead or like other stuff and always thinking about this and this i hear a bunch of kids tell me like oh if a zombie apocalypse happened i would do this this and this i look at them i'm just like dude you would shit yourself if you saw a zombie like it they talk a big game but i don't think they would actually be able to survive like a what do you think, one no what do you yeah. think's the closest we'd get to a zombie apocalypse if like, it's realistically in your mind right what i mean it would have to be some kind of strain like how like forceps fungus or something yeah like some kind of fungus or like a covid strain like that's like really really bad that was killing mm. people like worse off because more people died from like the flu than they did from covid that's what yeah. i'm saying like covid would be a more of a point of like if it got like a nasty strain where people were like acting weird and shit but they weren't like dead I think I think that would be the closest we would ever get. It's an aggression thing, like the twenty eight days later kind of yeah. anger virus versus like your heart's not beating and you've no brain activity but you're up and walking around. That's not going to happen. That's the whole raise from hell versus science yeah. kind of. I mean, that would be cool. That would be dope. There's no more space in hell. The dead yeah. shall walk the earth. Yeah, all yeah. that. Well, like the uh, Americans, think... they'll be ready for that because they're all armed to the fucking teeth. Uh, uh, well, yeah, but they can't shoot. Yeah, <laughs> it's not about who has the most. Is that it? Is, is that it? No, no, see, that's stormtroopers. Yeah, it, it would be crazy because that's what I was telling somebody else. Is like, yeah, a lot of people have guns over here, but I think it would get to a point where it would be like somebody would see that somebody else has has something that they want, and they would use the firearm against them instead of using it against the actual threat. Yeah, it's I like think. Walking Dead. The people become the real threat, not the zombies yeah. themselves. Yeah. And do you, do you think it's a case of like that? we probably won't get anything close to like a zombie apocalypse that the more likelihood is that it would be a case of something that's uh, an illness that spreads so rapidly and so widely that it will crush the infrastructure globally 
and that the the apocalyptic nature would come from people turning against each other and fighting for resources. Yeah, I, I, I think instead that of like more of a, I think something being sick and people having to be forced back inside their homes again, and mm. being angry about it. And you get Karens and Kins and from every single race thinking that they don't yeah. have to do this or mm. want to do this, and then it would just pop off to a point where you'd have like anti you know vaccine people and vaccine people like you know go, squaring off against each other. Yeah. Oh no, the amount the of lines are being drawn. You oh, know, I, I seen I seen this fucking dude. I, I'm not I'm not gonna I can't think of his name and if I did I wouldn't name him because uh, but he wore uh, a pair of tongs, panties, whatever you want to call them on his face on a plane because you know oh, I saw that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he was like, you know, the only thing that brings about change in this country is radical blah blah blah. Look at Rosa Parks and people are like, dude, no, back no yeah. back the fuck That's and even Trevor Noah that. of the Daily Show called him and said, No, you're understating yourself. You're actually the Martin Luther King of taking credit for shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, Do you know, just, don't no, Rosa Parks yourself because yeah. you I think I think that if there is like a vax, uh, vax- vaccinated people against anti vaccinated people war that I think we should get people that have COVID and send them into their front lines just to start sneezing on them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you come back to that, is it? <laughs> okay, you go. That's you. That's you. Just ah. boys carrying pepper into the front lines, just wading forward. <laughs> like big mucusy sneezes. <laughs> that would be funny as shit to see, though. <laughs> yeah. Just like throwing like, these bombs at people. Like it just, falls, <laughs> just blows up and goes, Achoo! and just like shit, just grenades, blows everywhere. Just firing them in, like just those grenades, just like sneeze yeah. on them, just contaminate. And everyone's yeah, just like, gathering around. That, that really dark scene where it's just like, I think we're alone now. It's absolutely fine. It's dark. And all you hear, you know that scene where they conjuring or whatever they had there. <laughs> but it's just somebody going, Achoo! <laughs> they're in the lines they're in the lines you just, you just gave somebody a great idea for, for something yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Gonna be like and everybody's gonna just, just yeah. I'm, well I'm already spiraling an idea about like a walk zombie apocalypse you know like people are like going, oh no like somebody get this really fat black zombie off me and so we go like first off before I save you there was absolutely no need <laughs> or his body type, you know? oh, yeah. are you body shaming that zombie you right now is that what you I'm do? sorry is his race got something to yeah well it's just yeah. like the one that's individually eating me is all I yeah. like you know but they prefer to be called the zombie, of zombie, <laughs> zombie, zombie of color zombie of color not black zombie. Yeah. 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 a brown zombie a zombie it's, of color undead yeah, person zombies. of race you have <laughs> these zombies that just try to lick you and don't bite you so you're gonna yeah. be glad too. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Brain craving American is the term. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you do. It's a good point though. We are. It, it is a pussy generation. We're also putting up a lot better with stripes that previous generations didn't have in terms of like housing themselves and in terms of getting themselves through college. And you have to give credit mm. for that. And then for some reason, at this last hurdle, which is just thought or or expression, they, 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 it's like they completely fall, which is very strange because that feels like the easier part. Yeah, I I think as well though, like we're it, the technology that even when we're in lockdown, we can still remain in communication with people. Like back in the day, if you had a lockdown in the forties or fifties, I'm sending a letter to Noel, and he's getting it like fucking six months later. I'm yeah, already yeah. dead. To my good friend Vincent, hope he yeah, finds you to, well from the estate of Noel <laughs> John Tui. Like, like yeah. now, dudes in jail have like uh, TikToks. Like there's mm. a dude that's in jail. It's like. TikTok famous. He's in jail making TikToks. <laughs> he should be on Twitter and call himself the jailbird. <laughs> said it, said oh, said man. It. Like, you know there, was this, there was this fucking really fucking crazy case here in Ireland about 10 years ago. And it was a dude who called into a radio station <laughs> yeah. and, and com- in jail and complained that they were saying like this, that and the other about jail conditions and shit like that. Yeah. And that dude got out and he was killed like coming home from his welcome home party because... It, it's it, it was the prison here in Port Leash. Where, prison where guards don't fuck around in Port Leash. But like a, a lot of people <laughs> had phones, and the one thing they managed to not do was call national fucking radio and tell them that they have phones. So that dude <laughs> had like a fucking that dude like fucking literally killed himself basically. Like, yeah, but yeah. you're right, people in jails, like people in jails. Yeah, that's that's that that's the difference now. Every everybody has like means to like. I'll tell you this right now. If for some reason the internet. The internet were to go out, cell towers, and internet, people would lose their fucking minds. Oh, oh yeah, especially if it was lockdown again. Oh yeah, that's what makes me feel old because I've lived in Dublin. You know, Dublin would be our capital. I've lived in like four different addresses there in my early years of the job I do, and um, 
I, I never had internet, but I never missed it because I, I didn't, you know, like, I mean, it was you only naps, missed what you... naps. Exactly. Napster was a new thing. Social media mm. hadn't kicked off. I didn't miss it. Like, I, as long as I had TV channels, I was okay. It's literally your window it's into the world. Like. Yeah. Mm. It's your window into the world. Yeah, it's your window yeah. into the world. You know what I mean? Uh, like, because, like, right now, we're literally talking to Beige, and he's, like, 3,000 fucking miles away. So, all different time zone, the other side of the world. You I'm know what I mean? 3,000 like, miles away, but I'm right next to you here. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I don't, here. I'm, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. don't forget that. Thing. I'm going to point somewhere else, but I, <laughs> it's a family show, base. I it's a family show. I, keep it, you know, I told the, you to keep oh. that man a on lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to summarize this just in a very basic and simple way. Beige, this like zombie apocalypse happens in well, 2021. Zombie apocalypse happens in 1981 scenario that's it that's in a bubble on its own zombie apocalypse happens in 2021 that's it that's a scenario on its own yeah Yeah. which one is the better scenario for survival rates which one is the better scenario for people fucking doing what needs to be done is it the 1981 40 years ago or is it the 2021 it's the 1981 yeah yeah because too many people now like i said would get ass hurt about stuff they would try to outthink the other person or they would want credit for oh no i built that and that's if, if they get credit for it or it's it's like i want to be in charge yeah or just somebody kind of go yo fam just check yeah. out six zombies yeah. yo yeah. <laughs> you know what it is just like, you know what this it's generation your boy, is zombie killer <laughs> man what the generation is that's coming up behind us is a load of betas pretending to be alphas oh yeah yeah that's literally yeah. what it is but i i think like like of like of all the 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 zombie apocalypse or the potential apocalypse that could happen, that I the one I really want to see is the alien apocalypse because right before I get genocided, that I want to see some cool shit happen. Yeah. Like not like this COVID has offered me nothing in terms of entertainment. Oh, yeah. like you know, I'm, what I'm like, entertained. It's the most boring work, apocalypse. I'm entertained every day. <laughs> at work, working at a grocery store, I am entertained every day. Give me, give me one snippet. I'll Stop. give you one snippet that happened. One snippet. That's all about. Ago. Two days ago. Curry gold butter. Oh, recent as well. I love recent. it. Recent. Two days ago, I tell somebody, hey, it's a mandate now. You have to wear a mask. She comes in. I thought it was a dude, but it, I guess it was a woman. I was like, listen, dude, you got to wear a mask. I'm a woman. No, you're not. But it was like, uh, no. Bit, but... <laughs> well, I'm not going to wear a mask. I was like, okay, well, you can't shop. It keeps coming in. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to let it go. Another one of my employees comes up and tells the, the dude, like, you have to wear a mask. Those are just fucking fit. Listen, you don't have to do this and this. I'm I'm a I'm a tax paying citizen. I was like, Are you paying with EBT? She's like, Yeah, I'm like, no, you're not. She's not a tax paying citizen because that's you know money from the you know state or whatever. But she starts walking out and I'm like, Well, you have a nice day. She's like, That's right, gorilla. And I'm like, She called me a gorilla. And I was like, That's rude. Like, why would you call me a gorilla? And then it's pretty yeah. fucking yeah. Right. Worse than rude, man. Right, like, and then uh, the Hispanic you, dude. You might eat Joe Younger and fuck nah, her up. Nah. So <laughs> the Hispanic dude comes, come, come, comes over, and he's he's one of my employees, and he's just like, "Ma'am, you know, there was no need to say that. You need to leave." She's like, "Be quiet, Bean." And I'm like, "Of all the racist things you could say, you call him a Bean?" Like, so we kick her out, and she wants. He was to- a say, he was he a guy of Latin persuasion? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. And the 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 Karen or Ken or whatever mixture it was. Was just like you know, I'll fight you guys outside, and like I'm like six three, and fight you guys, 60. and this dude, I'm looking at oh, you. No. I'm not fighting you. <laughs> it's yeah. like oh no, anywhere. fuck! It was a Charon. It was, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, a hybrid of a Chad and a yeah. Karen. Yeah, so yeah, was, or a Karen and a Charizard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then, like I go outside, and what usually happens is people in my store that want to like step up to me. Like as soon as I get close, they back up. So I'll get yeah, closer and they keep backing up. So we get outside. The Irish coming true, man. Right? It's just I get angry super quick. And then I get outside and then she goes to pick up a cart, right? And tries to pick it up to throw it at us. And she picks it up and falls backwards and smashes her head against the I cart. And then falls love. onto the concrete. And it was love just that. like on her like this. And I was just, I just walked back in the store and I didn't fucking care. Man, I think if somebody was looking at that from the right angle, they would think that you took her out with telekinesis. Yeah, right. You know, like she's, she's like she's like backing up. And all, all this, yeah, you know. And all of a sudden, like all of a sudden, she's smashing herself in the head with a car. So let this like, be your final you're like battle. You're walking away. All, <laughs> you're walking away. All cool. It's like, oh no, look, she hurt herself terribly. I know, right? <laughs> so many bad things happen to me at work. 
Oh my god, man. You know, I love the fact that you used to be a cop and you, for some reason you, you go from being a cop to working in a grocery store and you yeah. still can't escape the carnage. For <laughs> <laughs> private security and other stuff like that after being a cop. And that was like way worse. So, oh what, god, what, it's just... if, if I'm going to ask you a question each, right? What of all the apocalypse would you want to see the most and which one do you think you would survive the longest in? Right. Uh, throw to beige first these are guests apocalyptic i would survive longer because i'm pretty handy with knives i'm pretty handy with a gun um but what we talk about like uh like uh, mm. uh, uh 28 like what, days later you know, running angry zombies no, no zombies it's that are undead. Like, like, not question? just zombies no the two there's two separate questions what's uh, what what apocalyptic scenario would you like to see the most and mm-hmm. um, which one do you think it survived the longest in? I think both for me, it would be like like a book of Eli type thing. So it's like Wastelanders, kind of like nuclear wasteland. Yeah, like like kind of like Fallout, that type of shit. Where like there are people who are like cannibals or like close to being ghouls and shit like that that are radiated. Well, people, it's de- yeah. desperate people. That's, yeah. that's that would so be that, where you. Yeah, so that would be me because I think I survived longer just based off that fact. And you know. Um, I'm good at you know hunting, so I'd use people as prey. So I love that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that. No, I, I think if you delve into that, I just don't think it's perfect. Yeah, I think if Finn, I think if you delve into that, it's just not as great. You know, yeah. I'm gonna go. I have to say the opposite because I'm a little bitch, and I'm gonna have to say the <laughs> sort of like slow moving, slow moving kind of zombie thing where I yeah. realize that like I just need to be patient, and I think I can be patient. I think I. I'm such. I, I suffer with like panic attacks and anxiety disorders and stuff. But yeah. for some reason, it's it, there was this episode of this great show that we used to watch as kids called Father Ted, and it's like when everything <laughs> actually goes to shit, it kind of levels out because <laughs> yeah. you're so used to <laughs> catastrophizing. So I think I'd like could be, it would have to be something slow where I could plan. Yeah, and outrun because you've got shit you need, and I've got shit you need, so I can't outrun. So I, I would yeah. need to plan. Every move would have to be tactical. I think beige from what he's saying. I think beige could go on the offensive. Yeah, yeah I, just, I, I don't think well, I he is could. like six foot three, like you know, yeah, he's a fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> USB. It would just be like, yeah, yeah no, I know. <laughs> Face is like me. No, no, it's like you're here to save me. Bad yeah, knee, so, 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 yeah. <laughs> you said. I would just like just put arrows like in their side, and it would just, yeah, like, yeah. like we got. <laughs> Face like, let's have a look at that knee. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> and I was like, oh, is that like, like some sort of weird? You can't call him. You can't call him gorilla. That's racist. Oh no, no, we all call him that because he took over New York City in the day. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty good. That would be pretty good. Pretty <laughs> convincing. <laughs> pretty con- um, convincing. So, like, so you think you'd survive uh, nuclear wasteland? Must you not? Would you not be afraid of mutations, though, beige? No. Nah. I- He's wearing his little bit of lead and leather or whatever. No, you know? I, 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 I would be Eli rules, man. I would, look at, like, <laughs> I would look at what the landscape is and be like, okay, if there is radiation, then you know that if you do get water, you have to test it. So I'd make sure I have a tester with me at, at all times. And then, you know, for me personally, I would probably try to like fashion some kind of like radiation suit or, you know, something. What's that shit to... that uh, Alex Jones is always trying to sell that, that's good for radiation? Are you doing? Oh, you're dying. Yeah, he's fucking weird, though, so... You think the so? Reason, that dude, I've, never seen iodine, him, I've never seen him myself. He seems pretty grounded. The reason iodine's important is because it prevents That's your thyroid from... It prevents your uh, thyroid from absorbing radiation. Fair enough. And that's why iodine's important. Because so, that's how you get radiation sickness. That it absorbs through your thyroid. And leaks into your body or some shit. The more? But like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, uh, I think... To be honest with you, like in terms of seeing a nuclear fallout and having to watch lots of nuclear meltdowns, there's few more terrifying things as a human being than looking at a mushroom cloud. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think, like, I think the amount of mass suicide, if that was the fucking apocalyptic uh, scenario, that would uh, come straight after the nuclear uh, fallout would be insane. Like, it would be insane. That's true. Yeah. What about you, Finn? Actually, before we get out of here, we've already run long, so just this is this is the wrap up. Finn, you exactly your own question, just straight back at you. Um, I would like to see the alien one, of course, because it's the coolest of yeah, all. Yeah, but what would you? Where, where where would you? Where would you do well? Where would I do well? Uh, I think. Um. Yeah. I think zombies. Zombies is pretty good. I, I like. I'm terrified of nuclear meltdown, even though I think nuclear power is the way of the future. 
Um, I'm, uh, but zombies, I think, like, because I've been in lots of fights growing up, I think I can manhandle a, a fucking more zombies in a one on one. But that incoming horde, uh, like that, yeah. millions or not, like thousands, if not millions of people doing that. Like, I've read World War Z, the Battle of New York, the Battle of Brooklyn, like, just thinking of millions of, like, the one thing I loved about that story is the scale. Because, like, zombies, like, you see them in hundreds and you see them in thousands. Well, could you imagine what it's like if millions upon millions of the uh, the, the Walking Dead start to converge upon like some sort of continental place, like uh, like the United States or mainland Europe, and like if you just imagine those numbers, I don't think it like you could survive very long. I, I like you know, so I think the, my best chance is uh, it's the barricade. It, well, it's the it's what we're talking it's about. This, me and you are in the barricade. Yeah. Yeah. And, and 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 go out venture yeah, out. I, 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 and yeah, I beige think... would be on the move. Yeah, I yeah, think in little. terms of like alien apocalypse would be because if they're so technologically advanced, they could actually probably wipe us out before we'd even have a chance to attack. And also, think about the alien one. It's it's yeah. it's, it's a really interesting idea, but it's the whole thing of like, bitch, we travelled eight like three light years <laughs> yeah. to get here. Far, like, yeah, what exactly. are you talking about? Yeah, it's not so like oh, I have an AR fifteen. That's fucking adorable, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? They're like, oh, that's cute. That's yeah, fucking... yeah. It's like yeah, base comes out like, dude, I'm six foot three. I got a gun, and the aliens are, like telepathically controlling him and explodes yeah. his head. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a combustion based weapon. Yeah, that's, that's adorable. Yeah. So I think that the alien one would be less chance of survival. I think slow moving zombie best chance of survival. Yeah, uh, and I think in if terms I could of, think about my next step, I, I think it, that's, it, that's my it, best. I chance. think when it comes down to zombies in terms of survival, it all it depends on how long it takes uh, for them to starve to death. And like, so yeah. if they can, well, survive, that's the undead. Like you know, when hell is full, the supernatural versus the yeah. That's how you chain yeah. them. See, that's that's a whole other conversation. You chain them like, what? like around. If you chain them, yeah, you chain them around. <laughs> What I would at? do with zomb- zombies is I'd just dig massive holes all over the place and let them walk into mm. them and just set it on fire and just walk away. Or even just like a gate and like a bow and arrow or something that has reusable uh, ammunitions. Or, or, or they don't least... even need weapons. They're going to just keep walking, just set traps all over the place. Yeah. That's, I, that's how I deal with zombies. Like The, the, well, the, the zombie pit. question is so broad because there's yeah. like supernatural versus scientific and there's um, yeah. there's like intelligent versus uh, like completely brain dead. There's I fast versus slow. It goes on and on and on. I hate that intelligent zombie bullshit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we get get the fuck out. So um, yeah. so base, do you think you'll survive the apocalyptic fallout? Or, or sorry, the nuclear fallout apocalypse scenario? It takes best. over the fu- yeah. the. the, the, the <laughs> yeah. uh, so uh, uh, Noel, do you think slow zombies? Yeah. But which yeah, ones would you like? Yeah. So they're the ones you'd like to see the most, as well as the ones you think you survived the most. Which ones do you think be the coolest apocalypse? So you never really answered that. No, um, you go first and then beige. And I think the cool apocalypse is the slow zombies that don't eat dogs, like we had. In, in, <laughs> yeah, because you know, I, <laughs> and my Dawn dog of the is dead. My, yeah, yeah, Dawn of the Dead. They were fast you, zombies, using, though. Like, like like using like whistling. I lo- I love the idea of a zombie film where people are like whistling between houses and using dogs as couriers and stuff. I always yeah. thought that was never touched upon in that, in that, and I thought that would have been cool. So that's something that's been in the back of my head. So I'll just answer it seriously and say that, yeah. Yeah, so I'm um, bit... And that's the one you want to see, or is no, that I'm, the one Oh, yeah, it's the one I'd want to see. If I had to see one... Like, I'd be yeah, one cool is because I'd want to see, like, people get zapped and, like, uh, like a prepped that attack from mars whatever it was uh and, mars attacks yeah mars attacks it'd be people getting like zapped and shit and like we come in peace and they're yeah, killing people on the street yeah, <laughs> yeah. Put up and all that kind of stuff that would be cool to see yeah yeah you know. but uh, none of us are going to pick see. yeah you're right uh, but we'd all put together that none of us want to see asteroid or comet apocalypse nah because then we're just fucked they're, 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 that's terrifying yeah, like, that's not like that's not like beige can't go like I know I'm a decent hunter ergo asteroid. <laughs> 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 ash cloud tidal wave a thousand feet tall you say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look how fast I can all kinds of bad shit if that happens I'm doing all kinds of bad shit yeah, yeah before yeah. it comes I'm doing all kinds of bad stuff before it comes I come oh. what what, what? <laughs> alright all right, folks we're all gonna good. get the fuck out of here all right, cool. That's what, uh, that was this week's Talking Pints. I'm your host, Vincent Green. I'm your host, Old John Toohey. We got Karen Mack in the back, and that was Beige Bedford from the Return of the Critics. Thanks, Beige. And uh, we'll see you next time, folks. Peace out, motherfuckers.